think like, that I'm doing hey, Jesus Christ is Lord. No, okay, so because it's like it's like when you you know you know how when someone gets married, the woman is always that question is who is the most important woman in your life now, and you're always looking around like uh, is he your wife or is he your mom? So I understand your question, okay, so I'm not I, comparing I, myself to your mom. Like your mom, she you have your own relationship with your mom. Like I shouldn't even compare myself to her, but I'm saying like you protect me. You are here to protect me. You know mm. the way your parents were protecting you. But we're still a team, though. We're still a team. Oh, exactly. We just united. And we yeah, said, oh, you're wow. paying 80% of the rent. What's up? Huh? <laughs> you're paying 80% of the rent. Well, what if you're making 80% of the money? Then what, Queso? Are you you're looking still paying 80% of, of the rent. Oh, Queso, 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 wait. Queso. And that's why me, I don't like to talk. Me, I don't I like to talk because my opinions are always. I have a question. Are you looking to be someone's life partner or someone's dependent? No, I'm like, we're going to be life but listen, I'm going to help you in any other, in other ways. I'm not saying you're going to pay all the bills, but the rent, the mortgage, you're paying 80% of that. Uh, Maybe okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to be paying for the food. It's Maybe I'm going to participate in the college <laughs> fund of the kids. Things are to go. If things are not to work out, do you also want 20% only? Or do you want no, to... if things are not going to work out, Hopefully, it's not going to get to that point because hopefully we can resolve this. I, I, mean, I, I get that. But if it does. Okay, so I understand how you want, like, us, naturally, a man is supposed to be the alpha and is supposed to want to take care anyway. You know what I'm saying? As far as. But that's the problem, Kenneth. It's a lot of, it, it, it needs to be something you want to Let do. me answer his my question. What was your question, when, Josh? My power comes in when it's like, oh, you're expected. I just said that. I excuse me, no, no. I'm expected to do nothing. Else. I'm expected to walk out, matter of fact. My only expectation at this point. What was your question, my, Josh? My question was this. Keeping that same energy, when you're mm -hmm. saying 80-20, if things are not to work out, are mm -hmm. you still expecting an 80-20 split when it comes to just saying No, we're done? if things are not going to work out, whatever you, whatever we build together in the marriage, we're going to oh. divide it in half. Right? <laughs> hey, but whatever, you if you came with a house, wait, if you came <laughs> with a house, you know, house, you know, house you the house, you're going to have a that. Because I'm married. Me, my money, because we are married, you're gonna take half. Oh, I'll bury you. I'll bury you. Guys, it's not like I'm not saying he has to pay everything. I'm not saying that. I'm not I, saying yeah. like you have to take care of me, but I expect like the rent, it's very symbolic for me. Like, it's uh, that, no, I understand. Symbolic. I understand that. This is you why know? I brought it. So, when it comes to the house, that you when it comes to the house, you, you know. know like the roof over our house, um, over our heads. The man is supposed to take care of that. That's how you feel. I, I yeah, but I'm not saying you have to pay all the bills. Like, no, I, get like, that. I went to I get school that. for what? Okay, so I ain't gonna lie to you. There, I feel like whenever you meet that person, you're 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 going to appreciate your husband to the point where you're not even gonna want him to pay all the time. Like, you're gonna you're gonna want to give sixty sometime, or maybe. even forty, and he gives sixty. Or you maybe give, it's a team. It's teamwork. It's a team, or maybe you know, like. It's just like a vision, but I guess, you know, in reality, it's stuff can happen. You can lose your job. You know, you never know, you know. Yeah, so I have a question gonna... for you. Yeah. So you say that you expect, expect is the yes. word, right? Expectation, expect yeah. this man to pay 80%, right? You yes. have a full-time job. He has a full-time job. Both your jobs are as demanded, right? Now, this man comes to you and then he says he expects fresh dinner every night. <laughs> he expects his underwear wash. He expects. Ready to go. Nah, see, that's, 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 no. that's, that's, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. Yes. When you when you guys start dating in the yes. when you guys first start dating and she wasn't cooking in the beginning, <coughs> I ain't gonna lie. When you put a ring on her, you still shouldn't suspect that because that's what you accepted. You know what I mean? Now, if if you want to complain about it every now and then, and then she decides to change, and that's all, you know. That's different. No, the question is. Oh, that's not. But, that's not no, what I'm. Is. These conversations the question we're having are like proving exactly why you need to move in before. Hold on. The no, question no, is. That's not what I'm asking. That pro, that pro Hold on now. Hold on now. The question is right. You use the word expect. Hey, you said you said expect. So expectation, right? Quote unquote. He needs. He has to pay this amount. He has to pay this. Now her question is, if he expects you to cook every single day fresh meal, would you do it? Two, if he comes home, he wants to have sex, and you said no, big they expect him to do that. Should he also expect sex when he comes? You I just will try my best. 
you know. I will try. Okay. There's no <laughs> try. <laughs> we need the answer. Morgan. There's no try. We need the answer, right? <laughs> Joshua, <laughs> stop laughing. I'm when sorry, Rex I'm is sorry. good, there is no try. <laughs> Listen, you know what? It's it's hard. Seriously, it's hard. <laughs> There's no trying. <laughs> you know, my, my thing is this, and, and, and I feel like Ella's question just like tapped on my point. I feel like we a lot a lot of people come in with these expectations. Yes. But yeah. those expectations are only one sided. You're not willing to to receive expectations from the other side. Mm. And as a guy, if you pull up that that whatever eighty percent, whatever not. Whatever else you're chipping in on, sweetheart, I need a fresh meal every night. My boxes need to be clean. I need my straight iron in the morning. I, like, I don't care what you got going on. Because at the end of the day, when rent is due, no matter what's going on, I'm expected to pay that 80% or the 100%. You know? I should have that, never said that. No, 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 no. no, 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 no that, there's nothing wrong with it. There's, okay, so there's nothing wrong with it. No, 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 no. She, she's coming back to herself. It's okay. No, 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 no. There's, no, there's nothing. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. My problem is, where people have those expectations, yeah. but yet don't want, think that if you have expectations, it's unreasonable. Which is why I say, I don't believe in expectations because if our expectations don't match, then you're not gonna like it, okay? It's one thing if you say, okay, allow him to treat you the best way, you, and if that's not good enough for you, then bad. But don't come off with what I, the way I call it, is a dependent mentality, where you're coming in and you're basically what society has told us is what a man needs to do is take care of this woman for the rest of her life. No, my, what I'm looking for in life is a life partner. Whatever I choose to do for you, something I'm choosing to do for you, not something society is telling me that I need to do for you, or that you telling me that this is what you're expecting of me. Because this is I'm, I'm in this voluntarily, and I'll live voluntarily. You're not gonna push anything onto me and make me do what I don't want to do. You know, the same way if my expectations is hey. Look, I expect to have sex every time I get home. If I, if you don't meet that expectation, if I force it on to you, that's called rape, you right. know, and yeah. that's illegal. So the same way you're gonna push this on to me, that's just involuntary, whatever stuff. There's no word for rent rape or anything like that. So it's just- Can I play devil's advocate real quick? Yes. Go for the ladies. Um, mm -hmm. Let's say a guy is in a, in a nice, in a nice, in a nice uh, condo. You know, paying paying a, paying a good decent amount, and you know, you guys come to a mutual agreement that you know you just live together and you no, move in with him. Yeah. Do you chip in? Do 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 you do you pay something? Question: mm -hmm. Is he still paying for it? Yeah, it's his it's his place. He was already paying for it. He owns it. Well, he paying rent. He's renting. Okay, if he's renting, sure. Yeah. Okay. If, if, so if it was if it was his house, I mean that's a given though. I mean if it's his house, you know. I'm not bought, right. sorry. I'm but not. It, but if, it, if okay, if it's his house that he bought, and you know, you moved in, you're not paying anything. I'm not paying. No, rent. I'm not paying anything. I'm not paying rent because it's a blessing. House. That's, that's a blessing. You're not paying the mortgage. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not the mortgage. House. Then he doesn't own it. See that. That was my question. If he doesn't own it, he's still paying for it. Sure, I'll pay. But, but I'm if, not he paying owns, if he owns it, if he owns it and there is no mortgage, no, I'm not paying you right. I will help out in like I will. Other things. I mean, there's no payment. Nobody got to pay nothing. Yeah, there are things you always have to pay things. Condo, whatever. Yeah. Bills, electricity, let's just, let's water. Let, let's just stop it. Let's just stick to rent. No. Yeah, to, to rent. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Okay. Guys, guys, guys. Personally, like personally, no. personally, to be honest, I feel like a man supposed to own the rent payment. Let's be honest. Why? I, I bring I bring my point. First of all, I believe this woman want to do half and half. Man, my friend. The disrespect of half and half, you don't want to take it. <laughs> you can't even take it. Let's be honest. We know when women put half, is that they're paying 95% of the, the, the payment. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, bro. Damn. Think, 
think no, 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 that this woman, women want to do how they have their face because they want to put their voice. You will sleep on the couch till your your neck, your neck. You go for a massage. It depends on the woman, bro. It does. Let me, let me, let me, let me place the advocate to what you just said, right? It depends on the woman. Isn't it the same way? Isn't it the same way as the man will pay the rent, right? The woman doesn't have the same, like you put it. But then when she comes talking to you, you immediately rage up saying, I pay the rent here so I can say what the fuck I want to say. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah, I mean, that's not a lie. But at the same time, that's something I'll defend. You probably raise your voice. And my friend, later at night, you'll be begging because you know what you're going to enter. You know, me and you, we understand each other. You know, Dave, I was mad. I apologize. Even though I paid the rent. No, let's be honest. Let's be honest. A hold woman on, still have some type of like hold on. some type hold of on. like okay. Power? Okay. Yes. Let me ask you this. Forget about begging. Forget about begging. Forget about internet. We're That's talking about truth. We're talking about we're talking about paying rent, right? We're talking about everything that That's comes Forget about begging, my guy. That that's like okay. Forget it's, it's, that it's, side. Forget, forget that side. Let's forget talk it. Forget about it here. Paying the rent. You said the man supposed to pay all of it because if a woman chips in, then she has a say. You know, oh, she still has a say, my guy. You go own the fucking house. She still has a say. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you own the house. She moves in and then takes over the whole bit. She decorates the shit the way she wants. It's her shit now. What you gotta say? Please tell me I want to hear. Bro, bro, let me tell you something. Even if you pay the house with your own money, the woman of your life, when she comes in the house, she will decorate the way she wants. You're not gonna say shit. Excuse my French. That's the that's the same thing going with when a woman tells you when a woman is paying rent or she's paying half of the rent, like the way she women are women in general are dictators. Listen. If you don't know, women, like their own self, they have something to prove. To the point where... Julian! What if you don't have any of them bought, Julian? Okay, let me talk, let me talk. So you Almost. think because you paid all of that rent now, I'm just going to shut up in my home? No, no, no. no. You're not going to shut up, but you will reduce the way you're going to talk to me. I'll pay for it. It's fine. Reduce, it's reduce. not that deep. No, yeah. listen, listen. Listen, you see, you see, guys, you see, that I can't you see how they're getting agitated, you see how they're getting agitated, that's what yes, I'm talking about. Yes, we are, because you're talking down to us. <laughs> I'm telling you, you see, they're all affected psychologically. You said they're Idi Amin, they're dictators, they're not happy about that. No, no, no. But you see now, you see now, they're imposing things to us. No, they're not allowing me to stop, you must know. Bro. You have to be respectful to women. No, no, no. I'm not disrespectful to women. There's one thing I will never, ever, ever do in my life. It disrespect any woman on this planet. Any, Every single woman on this planet are queens. We are such you guys are queens, but sometimes you guys go over the board there. You guys do too much. Let's be honest with that. So you Once think a woman says, money listen, is- Okay, I'm listening to your question. Let me answer. T- let me answer you. I'm asking. So you think you putting down that money will change the woman acts? No. no. Let, let Let me come. Let me come. Let me come. I was trying to talk, but you guys got too agitated because I was I was kind of like talking about you. You guys are popcorn. You guys pop all the time. So sorry. Pretty much. Popcorn. Yes. Wow. Women are princess. That's one thing. Women are princess. Why would you allow a woman to pay rent? Who are you? What are you doing in your life? If you're not ready to pay a rent, your own rent, and you want your woman when she moves in to pitch in with you, you're not ready to date. Let's be honest. You're not ready to date. When you're ready to date, you are you are you have the, the right to have a woman whenever she has any situation to come into your life or into your house. You're not supposed to ask a woman for rent. You're supposed to pay as a man. How did you grow up in Africa? Did your mom ask your dad, do you want me to pay, to put half in the uh, in the rent? No. Your dad was able to manage how to pay the rent. Yeah, bro. Women are queens. The only thing they have to do, they have to worry about you, your worries, and pray for you. You're supposed to protect a woman. 
the one of, is not supposed to protect you. You're supposed to be the household. When they say, when you do your tax return, they say household. Who's the head of household? You say amen. And you, 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 you touch your chest. Remind Do the same chance I paid the rent. Right. Can, can I say remind, something? Can I say something? To, to let you go. Re, After remind me not is not it, it's not happening. Remind me not to let you go and you trip in the high school kids. Um, no, Guys, no, really no, quick, no, really no, quick. No, I hate to interrupt you, but I do have to go. It was great talking. I, you know, we have a lot of these answers and everything I was hearing. Um, so everyone stay safe, stay blessed, and I was all having me, but I do have to go because I'm supposed to be co-hosting another live. So, yeah. And all right, Sergi. Thank you for coming. All right, people. Appreciate you, dog. All right, Sergi. Peace, bro. All right, bro. I have a question for you. I'm a wait. Uh, uh, Josh, you got a question? Yeah, I do got a question, a major question, matter of fact. Are, are okay. you? You there? If yes, yes, I got you, Joshua. I know you got me. What, what, well, what you're saying, what you're saying is, you're paying rent at their expense of not being able to say shit in the house. That's that's pressure versus rules. As a man, okay. As a man, mm -hmm. the woman comes in, and tells you, listen. Don't worry about rent. Matter of fact, don't worry about rent and don't worry about cooking, okay? But every time you come in, don't talk unless you have to talk. Are you going to take this? I the last part. No way. So, so if, 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 a woman, if a woman if a woman tells you, okay, don't worry about rent. Matter of fact, don't even worry about your car notes, okay? Don't even worry about okay. cooking. I'll take care of that. But okay. when you walk in this okay. house, don't speak unless you're spoken to. Would you take that deal? You know, you and I we know. You know my answer. I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> you know you, my I answer. Want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. Is a fuck no. Excuse my French. Exactly. No, hold so on. Why, no, hold on. why is it that as men? Continuously, we still expect women to take the same deal with no women ever. Do. Well, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. There's one thing that, that what I'm trying to say. The only thing I, I have to say. Let's not try to put things like either ways. I know we live in the 21st century, but at the same time, let's know one thing. Let's know one thing. When you move in, if you move in or you get the opportunity to move in with a woman, if you allow yourself to put in that situation, that means you saw her as a potential something. Uh, well, how would you see a potential woman that you see as a mother of your children? Imagine her being pregnant and asking her to go work and pay for rent. Now you've jumped a whole. Let's no, get to I'm school. not jumping. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, I'm just putting things in perspective. Oh, no, you've jumped a whole thing, my guy. Joy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase this. The way I see it. You as a man, you have the opportunity 365 days in the year to go to work. You moving with your woman, you know we men, or as men, we don't stay still. You, for example, you make a mistake. If she was paying half, how are you going to take it? You're going to still expect her to pay half? Hey, I'm afraid to be fat, take over the hey, Jesus. Hold on, tell me, I have a question for you, my guy. Hold on. Who's talking? Who's this? talking? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of confused, dog. So wait, I want to ask you, what was your upbringing like? Like what? Like your 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 dad, your mom, being uh, like growing up with them. What was your experience like? Maybe this will shed a little light in how you're really thinking right now. Okay, for example, me, I grew up as a uh, dad always working. My dad asked my mom not to go to work because uh, he wants her to take care of children. But at the same time, you you see the difference. He decided sacrifice this so that I could sacrifice this for all of you. Okay. Okay. So 
pretty much, if she was going to work, he was going to work. Pretty much, me, I would have been somewhere, eh? Maybe, probably in jail. I, I'm not sure. Now you don't know that so, for certain why because you don't know for certain why because that's what I'm saying. I said I don't know. Okay. Pretty much, so what I'm trying to say is, listen, a woman is not supposed to pay any dime. She can pay groceries, she can pay things for the household, but your rent, you have to pay when it's due on the May 1st, April 1st, whatever date, you pay it, and whatever the compliment she can ask you will add. That's what I have to say. A woman is not supposed to pay half of the rent. Don't even ask her, don't even beg her. Her, her being present in your life is already half of your rent. Julian, you said that's fine if you feel that way, of that's course, fine. but you said the reason- That's my opinion. Yes, of course. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. That's absolutely fine, you know. But you said the reason behind that is so that she won't have a home because once she pays fifty percent, then she feels like she has power. Because women are already so problematic, so now she's paying is going to be even worse, and that's where we have a problem. I said some women. I said some women do that. Not all the women. But that shouldn't be the reason for you to pay the rent, though. Right? It should be a reason for some. No, it shouldn't be the reason for you as a man to pay the rent. Yeah. But the main what... reason for you as a man to pay the rent is because you want to be the head of household. Because you are the man. As a man, you're supposed to cover your whole household. If a woman always, already, you should allow a woman to move in with you. Let's be honest. A man never allows a woman to move in with him unless he sees her as a potential. Can we agree on that? Mm -hmm. Not necessary, but sure. <laughs> okay, not necessary. I want you to define, like, to define what I just said. Move in with somebody if you don't see the person as a potential. Is that a roommate? I mean, what if you guys are dating and you're like, fuck it, like, I just want to move with this person. Why? Because you want the perks of having the person right next to you. Uh, that, that becomes a roommate. I'm sorry, that becomes a roommate. Even if you guys are dating, that, you don't if know. If you're who... dating, that means if you allow a woman you're dating to move in your life, in your house, is a potential. She's a potential. Yep. But if you just want to share the load, I don't. Is that what? What if I you just want to share the load? Because I mean, you're at each other's houses all the time. Let's just move in together so that we can save on rent. What if I, I, I didn't hear what you said first. I'm sorry. I said, why did you just want to share the load? And how about if certain things turn bad real quick? What do you do? Do you just go your part? Or the person yeah. Yeah. So going back to your point about, you know, um, your dad saying, mom, stay home, I'm going to go to work. First things first, that's what you're talking about, correct? Uh, uh, okay, you're bugging me a little bit, but you, I got it. Now I'm saying, consider the fact that you said your dad told your mom to stay home, right? And he will work, she take them. You're talking about after, correct? Yes. How many, how many African households do you see that happen in America? I will not say how many, because in America, it's a total different situation. No, we're talking about we don't want to. Yeah, we're talking about America. America, pretty much, we see women raising children. We don't see, like, uh, that situation. We don't have a dad and a mom situation, mostly in America. So we cannot use America as an example. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, like, we are all Africans in this particular chat, correct? Mm -hmm. So okay. we are talking about what pertains to us, right? It's not like okay. what pertains to another race or another culture or whichever. It's what pertains to us us in america okay what would you do so you say that okay every guy every like every me is me america. me in america okay me in america me in america i will spend all of my income on the rent and my woman will spend the money on the groceries or the interior or the the other expenses of the house that's different hold yeah, on my man. man is this something you've decided or you are assuming it's not something i decided or i'm assuming it's something that's supposed to happen oh my jesus 
I mean, I, I agree with you, though. I can't agree with him, you know. I mean, if you are willing to pay for rent and your wife can pay for the utilities, buy food, you know, that kind of becomes equal somehow, you know. Have you guys had the thank conversation? You, thank you, thank you, thank Hold on you. Now. Have you guys thank had you. the conversation? You might just want to pay rent. You don't want your, your wife to suffer or anything. You know? Hello, yeah, hello, yeah. please. You, have you, you guys the had roof. the conversation? The conversation, my guys. Conversation. Have you guys spoke about this? But we have a conversation. But the thing is, the, 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 that's not something we... No, 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 no. Listen, my guys. Okay. Listen, that's my question. You, okay. you and your woman, have you guys had this conversation? It depends. You guys can have the conversation or not. I think I think it's better to have a conversation, you know. I, I think it's better, you know. Just cause I feel like your wife may be just like, hey, I want to pay rent this this month. I don't want you to pay rent. Would you say no? No, no. You will not say no. But what I'm trying to say is, as a beginning, like something in the beginning, before you guys actually end up in, in that conversation, you know, what I'm trying to say is pretty much... In, in the, the beginning, beginning, you pay the rent. You pay the rent. In the beginning, just cover the rent, yeah. and the rest, the grocery and stuff, you can be like, hey, you know what? I'm already covering for our roof. Can you please cover for our amenities, like all these little things? She's not gonna say no. For example, mm -hmm. women love to cook. Women love to do this. And if she loves you and she likes you, she will cook for you. If she cooks for you, for you, where's she getting that money from? She's using her own money to buy you food. Yes, yeah. Do you do you, do you, do you hear what expectations are? You you, you hear what is, you, you hear what you say, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing. Yeah, that's that's expectations, right? That's expectations, and this is like something that we try to resolve in our generation. Expectations. Yeah. Our parents have been doing it, and we look at it like, oh man, why you got to treat moms like that? Or moms got to treat that like that? And then today. Yeah. We are talking about replicating the same thing. It makes no sense, bro. Like you, like 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 this. Is what you're doing? You're going to look like this, but you're not addressing the main issue. So, what is the main the issue? Is, okay, okay, okay let me support him. With the woman before me, making any assumptions, decisions. I don't whatever. agree with that. I just don't agree with that because even in my religion, this is not something that I'm supposed to do. So, even if it's like. Even if I want to do it, I will always have this religious, not, I don't want to say pressure, but vision that I'm not supposed to move in with the guy that I'm dating before marriage. What religion is that? I'm Muslim. Okay. Some people do it, but me, I decide not to do it. Would you marry mm. outside of that? Would you marry a Christian? It's, I want my kids I really want my kids to have the same religion than me, so that's the only thing that can stop me from marrying a Christian. Because I don't want to like I don't want to I, I don't want to be in the position where we have we, we have to have the debate of oh, like maybe we need to show them both religion. Like no, I don't want to be in that type of situation because I feel like it can be confusing, you know. And I want my kids to have the same religion than me. So please, Julia, please answer her. I'm interested to hear this. Oh. That's my opinion again. I'm not saying I'm right. It's just no, my I mean, vision. Opinion, but, I'm, but, but, but I'm wondering what his opinion is to your opinion. Okay. Now think about this, right? You the man, right, Julian? You, you, you speak about paying the rent. You must pay the rent. So let me ask you this. Would you yeah, accept yeah, yeah. So would you, like, like she said, she wants her kids to be her religion, right? Now, would you marry a woman <laughs> if she states that exact point? Yes. Living under this your roof that you're paying rent for. Yes. Now you lie. <laughs> you, no, you lie to yourself. You don't know me. You don't know what I can forgive or what I can accept as a person. We all do, we all different. For example, listen, listen, you can actually be in, like, I've seen some couples. The only thing that probably like got them separated is their religion. 
As for me, religion is not going to be a matter. I will allow my women, listen, I will allow my women to educate these kids the way the, the way she wants. But if the kid decides to go his or her own way, I will let them go. Is she one of your properties <laughs> that you have to allow to things? Why are you allowing? Why is this an mean? allowing it's... thing? Why is this not a conversation that you're having with your woman? And you feel like you have to allow I'm talking kids. about the kids. I'm talking about it the kids, not the woman. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. You don't allow your woman to do anything. Your woman does things with you because you talk about it and you come to a conclusion together. Okay, what word do you want me to use? You had a discussion and you decided together, not you're allowing her. I think, That's I what think, I'm saying. Think... We, pretty much what I'm trying to say, pretty much what I'm trying to say is, her religion, whatever she believes in, whatever she believes in, she can do it with our kids. That's my point of view. That's what I believe. Julian, I have one question. I'm not going to be like, hey, you my woman, I give you permission to take the kids to church. I give you permission to take the kids to the mosque. I stop you from giving permission to do this. No. I allow you to do what you think is best for our kids. But... If a kid wants to be Christian, allow him to be Christian. I don't want you to impose something to him like the way I allowed you to have the opportunity or you allowed me to have the opportunity to be different from you. I'm not imposing anything. Don't feel like the word I'm using is imposing something to a woman. I'm not an oppressor. I'm not trying to oppress a woman. I'm allowing a woman to do what she has to do. At the end of the day, a man can be the head of household, but the person that maintains the house is a woman. So my she knows problem. best. That's how I believe. My, Period. My problem with everything you say, right? My problem with most of the things you're saying, right? Circles back to having these conversations. My question to you is, do you have a problem having a conversation with your significant other before making any decision whatsoever? No, no. Okay, so when you use when you use uh, words like I allow, that triggers something in other people, right? It triggers other people. You have to be you have to be aware of the words you use because if somebody claps at you, you cannot be mad at them because you're using a certain word that in their society and you know how mushy our society is getting you know that, yo, this okay. thing is part of the problem. So okay. if we have yeah, to that makes sense. We're trying to learn, but we not... The only people we're allowing is our kids. That's who we're allowing to do things. Everybody else is a conversation base, in my That's opinion. what I said. That's what I said. I'm not allowing my woman to do anything. My woman has the free right. Whatever she wants to do, she does it. And we but talk about it. If you want, if we argue, we argue. That. What I said is the kids, I allow the kids I allow the kids. I emphasize on that. You allow the kids. Your woman, you don't own a woman. You can never own a woman. Okay. Hey, Julian is not from Cameroon. We agree, by the way. No, because Ella, 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 pretty much, Ella is on you're me right now because right I now. use the word allow. Yeah, you're triggering me. That's yeah, what I you're know, I know. Okay, okay. 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 What I'm emphasizing on that is because of Ella. No, I mean, like, it's not, let's not just, you know, emphasize. Let's, we, we are all here to speak how we, you know, like, we are here to speak about a problem and, you know, put our heads together to find, you know, to find a way to move forward. You know, it's not about one, one specific person or whichever. You might be talking, oh, to Ella, but there's somebody in the comments that, you know, is getting, is getting livid by what you're saying. You know what I mean? Or there's somebody. No, I apologize. Living, you know, I saying. apologize if I use the word allow my woman, but pretty much. Is after a conversation, mm -hmm. a woman has to, like a woman can do what it, like is is all about talking. But at the same time, I personally I believe my woman is gonna educate my kids pretty much, and at the same time, my woman is gonna she's the right person. I believe her to be the right person to direct my kids when it comes to religion or when it comes to whatever decision to take. Because I myself am biased on most and a lot of things. Julian, that's, got, please, please, that's my point of view. Nasimi. 
Man, I've written your name down today. I will check with these ladies five years from today. <laughs> <laughs> five years from today. This conversation, we will relieve this conversation. But now, let's put a let's put a, a, a you know a pause on that. Let's put a pin on that topic. I want to ask this last question. You know, let's let's not get too deep into it because I don't want to hold you guys um, past ten thirty. So I just want to ask this question. Anybody who wants to respond, respond. You don't want to respond. That's fine. How do you address your woman's insecurity, insecurity issues regarding your culture, or insecurities in general? And ladies, how would you address your man's insecurity regarding culture or insecurities in general? Preacher George, please can you start? Yeah, Joshua, Joshua. What do I do? I can listen. Yeah, I want to listen to you. Please, please. No, no, no. I want to hear. I want to hear the question again, just to make sure I had it right. The question is, how do you address your woman's insecurity issues regarding your culture, or insecurities in general? Oh, matter of fact, you're the best person to talk about this. Please, I beg, answer the question. Why is he the best person? Oh, because he's a preacher. Because, he knows how to preach. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm not a preacher. Don't listen to him first of all. Hey. Insecurities about my culture, mm -hmm. or insecurities in general. I feel like we're we're tapping back into that point of vulnerability, where you that's for you to open up about your insecurities. That's you being vulnerable, and for you to be vulnerable, I feel like there needs to be some level of. of um, uh, okay. Of trust, some level of intimacy. But if once they're accepting and want to hear it, you, you open up. As far as their part, uh, it comes back for me. Just, I feel like at this point we're talking about vulnerability. That's that's how I feel. But for them, I just have to create that space where you understand that I'm always open to hear what you have to say. Um, that whatever we talk about stays here, doesn't go anywhere else. So if you give somebody that kind of platform and actually hold on to it, understand that there's a level of confidentiality that you need to maintain. Understand that there's a level of understanding that you need to maintain. Keep your open mind, because you're not necessarily going to understand their culture compared to what you're used to. As long as you understand those things, over time, they're going to be able to open up about what their securities are. And you can help them feel better about it, or you could just be the asshole that just makes them more secure about it. I mean, why would you be insecure about my culture? Like, I don't, I don't really get this part. But if it's insecurity about your own self, you know, I don't know, physical insecurity or. I don't know, maybe you went through something and it's very difficult for you to bounce back. I just feel like it doesn't matter how much I try to uplift you as long as you're not trying to do your, like as long as you're not trying to do the work on yourself, like there is nothing more that I can do. Like if you have to seek spiritual guidance or mental guidance, you know, you have to therapy. see someone, therapy, you should do that. You should do that for yourself, you know, but I'm going to be here. I'm going to tell you, you know, it's okay. You know, you are perfect the way you are, but as long as you don't believe it and you don't do the work by yourself, like it doesn't matter whatever that I say, it's, you're never going to get past those insecurity. That's how I feel. Have you ever dated out of Guinea? <clears throat> if I ever, what? Have you ever dated out of Guinea? Yes. Um, but it was still Africa. Oh, Africa. Okay. So you haven't yeah, dated so. somebody out of Africa? No, I don't okay. really. Yeah. Okay, when you ask that question, do you mean like, uh, for instance, some African people who want to bleach their skin because they are, you know, they want to look somehow European? Do you mean that? You could, yeah, you could, you, you, you could, you could factor that into. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Uh, you know, when it comes to that, you know, that's really, actually, that's really sad. And, you know, I feel like for us Africans, the way we should uh, help our people in general is just by, you know, um, 
keeping our culture, you know, not being afraid of being who we really are, you know. If you see a black woman, you know, you you appreciate who they are, they have their hair, you know, because some women, they really just want to have long hair, you know, change their skin. And most of the time it's because of the environment, you know, what they hear, what they see on TV, you know. So we need to, you know, to make a big impact for this just by you embracing them, you know, telling them, no, oh, this is actually beautiful. We like this, you know, better than that. You know. But what's wrong, wrong with them? What's wrong with them doing it? What's wrong with them doing it? Because if we're speaking as far as African men, if, if you come to the US and you get tattoos, you get piercings and all this stuff, you're trying to be like an African American. No, I'm I'm not talking about the tattoos. I'm talking about when it comes to bleaching. You know. African bleaching is not that they like you or they are born just to like that. It's because of the environment, you know. They think when you look kind of more light skin or you your skin is lighter that's when uh, you know boys will come talk to you that's when you get a probably a nice job that's when you look you know so the mass majority in africa somehow they feel it's you know, Congo, you know a lot. that's true it's currently i agree with Pascal. you know it happens it happens a lot so how do you deal with it? How do you address it? You need to speak the truth, you know, how it is, you know. You tell them, and sometimes, you know, tell them by also trying to help them too, you know. Like for instance, you know, my um, my woman, she really knows like me, I'm always like, I'm a, you know, I'm for black or black. You know? So that kind of encourages her, you know, she doesn't have any problem, but she used to tell me like, when I was little, you know, how, I feel like I want to be light skin. I feel this type of way, but she knows that you know I speak to the, you know, to the black skin just like that. You know, I feel like it kind of helps. You know, when you talk to them like that, they see, oh, they actually like me this way. You know? So you might change somebody's mind just by telling them that you know the way they look is actually beautiful than what other people tell them. But what if they just want to bleach, regardless of what? Like they know they're fine. They know. I mean, everybody tells them that they're pretty, but they just want to bleach. It's just something they want to do. Uh, yeah. Some sometimes, you know, some of them they want to bleach like that. I believe uh, the mass majority don't want to bleach because of what they see or what they what they've heard, or they think maybe if they change or they look different to attract, you know, other people. The mass majority. That's how it is. Man, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if in her head she knows that, man, I'm about to be the next MJ, man. If I change my skin color, man, I'm about to, you know, get this bag or, or I need to do this because I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm an artist and I'll get more, more, more fans or, yeah. or, I, you know, I'm into fashion, I'll get more clientele, more customers and stuff. What do you, like? What do you tell them? Like, do you see any problem there? Do you think it's an insecurity? Yeah. Do you think I, I think if you do, if you doing that for money, you know, you doing that, you trying to look that. Also, you know, when you see people who are doing that, they trying to look good. They go on TV, they pay them. It kind of also affect the mass majority. You know, most of the people they actually bleach their skin. They're not getting anything. They're actually getting diseases from it. You know, but if you doing it for money, it's good because you're getting paid. But you actually kind of destroying some house of, you know, the other people on the ground. You, know? you might have the good money to buy yourself some good product, but the people in Africa, when they bleach, most of the time it's because they just, they think if they bleach, they will look more beautiful than they look. I want to ask the ladies in this, in this, you know, in this panel, yo, like, would you, would you talk to a man who bleaches? No. No. Why not? Would you what? Talk to a man who bleached their skin. I won't. Let me ask a better question. Right? Let's say, for example, and this goes to the guys too. Let's say, for example, you meet a woman, right? And she and she's super light skin. Or you meet a man who's super light skin, right? And then, you know, you, you, you marry her, you know, you have kids and stuff. In your head, Somewhere in your head, you're expecting that. At least some, at some point, you have either you know, you know a, a chocolate baby or you have a light skin baby. What if all your kids come out black? Huh? 
I mean, I'm black, so I would just say it's because of me. <laughs> you know? I mean, what would that even be important? Like, yeah, it really doesn't just, matter because I'm black, so my babies will be black. Like, what would you, you know? be... Yeah, no, but, me, no, you, me, I would know ahead of time whether you've been bleaching or not. Hey, yeah, so I mean, that's I'm, easy to spot. I'm nosy as hell, and I'm that's definitely really going to find out. Because first of all, you got to maintain it. It's not like it's a one-time thing. Exactly. Yeah. Huh? Hold on, come again. You have to maintain it. You have to maintain it. You have, you, you you have, have to keep applying. Yeah. yeah like you, you you otherwise, take... you will have the dark spots. You know, you, you have the dark spots. You, have, you need injections. You need you all the dark yeah. spots. It's you a whole process. Yeah, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, it's a lot of work, work to bleach your yeah. skin. And no, no matter how much you bleach, always look here. You know, this, here. This, oh, no, this now they have friends. here. No, now, they have no, now, now they have. Now they have solution for all these spots. Yeah, that's they have a solution for all those spots. But look, yeah. okay, here in America maybe, but back home in Africa, they still even use back home. No, no, no. Even, even, back even back home, they do have it. They do like, have it. People really? just I use cheap products. Well, yeah. I, I think but some of them are it. probably behind. Because I've seen some. Yeah. Yeah. It's very expensive. Obviously. I know, yeah, it's kind of expensive. Like yeah, it's very expensive. That's the thing. It's very expensive. Yeah, well, in East Africa, I don't think like countries like Congo, people, people they use sometimes they use when they are natural. They just boil some, you know, whatever they. Get. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, listen, my guys. Me, I'm already tired, man. I can feel my bones telling me I gotta stand. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this, 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 this recording thing. You know, sit in the same place like my man Jure over there. He's just laying back after he has come and come. He's got promotion here all over the place. It's okay. Listen, before, before, before I round this up. Look at Tata. He has the biggest smile ever. I know why you smiling like that. Like that. I don't know why you're smiling like that. <laughs> but anyway, listen. I got four questions for you guys, right? Oh my god. I got four questions for you guys, and I'll start like this. Favorite childhood TV show? Go. Well, that's hard, but are we talking about like, oh, we've got to categorize this. Are we talking about sitcom, 90s sitcoms? Are we talking about 90s cartoons? Are we talking about favorite? Oh, yeah, 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 I mean, you talking mean, about best TV show? One. The best, your best, your best. When I, when I was young, you mean, because I don't watch TV show right now. Yeah, well, you were young. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's a I can agree with that. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. Was, uh, that's so Raven. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to Wait, say that too. That's so Raven. That's so Raven. Yeah, on Disney Channel. Oh, Mr. Bean. Yeah, Mr. Bean, I watch a lot of Mr. Bean. Yep, I yep, yep. I agree with that as well, Mr. Bean. Okay. I'm gonna go with um Martin. Martin. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I never. I think I watched only two episodes of Martin ever. AK what? He, he, oh, he's he's he, yo. He's funny. Oh. AK what? <laughs> I'm serious. I think I watched only two episodes of Martin. I like. You gotta. Oh. Anyways, Josh, what's your own? Hmm. So. <laughs> I pick a uh, Kiriku. Who remember? I don't know the I'm, name in English. Who remember uh, Teletubbies? Teletubbies? Yeah. That was so stupid, but I was like, I was so. Man, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, I am going with Johnny Bravo. Le Bobotiu was my favorite. And I just love how, like, whenever we would watch it as a family, it would, yeah. Oh, their producer just died not too long ago. Really? So, oh, wow. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That all bad news. Anyway, the next question ah. is... As always. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, what, what was your, what was the last thing or what was your last inner chuckle about? A meme. <laughs> yeah, bro, a meme. Like, we in quarantine, bro. We seen too much stuff on social media right I'm now. I'm sure, yeah, something on social media. On one memes, of these that's what it was. For me, it was, it was the two French doctors, man. 
I was like, mm. I was upset. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, Dude, the last thing that got me that got me chuckled is this this video that Fifty Cent posted of this this girl. I mean, she punched this dude so hard that he walked away and sat down and had to reevaluate his life. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I saw that. I saw that as well. And then I he went and put it all over. I haven't seen that. <laughs> I saw that as well. You got to share that video in the group chat, man. Yeah, <laughs> Nicole, definitely. what's yours? You hopefully quiet over there. Hey, AK, I'm going to tag you on Twitter. <laughs> nah, for sure. For sure. Nicole, what's your own? Mine was Kessel. Kessel said something that she knew didn't make sense. <laughs> but she still said it. Mm. What was that? I mean, what is it? What is it? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put you out there, but it's an inner oh, chuckle. Say it. Inner chuckle. Yeah. Go she ahead. Has, Go she has allowed you. It okay. yeah. <laughs> she allowed you. Allowed. You say it in the most respectful way. Are you sure? Are you sure? Wait, wait, text me, text me first. Uh, <laughs> text me oh, first. Man. Come on, man. Come on. You cannot Tell keep us suspects like that. Tell go us. hard or go home. Okay, say it, say it. Uh, uh, it's okay. Say it. Say it. Say it. No, say it. you're not. Tu vas pas Il dit quoi le matin là? No. Tu vas pas assumer de ça. Hi. Did she say she's five suck dicks? Okay. Hey. I'm sure that's not what she. I'm sure that's not what she said. Everybody's oh, good oui. to say it. Now I'm scared. Shut up, Nicole. C'est bon. Uh, okay. You can tell me later. Uh, you can tell Gina, Ella too. <laughs> Thank you, Kessa. I appreciate you. Well, have to I was, I was at the I was at the airport a couple of oh, no, Brandon, go ahead, go ahead. You guys live in Guinea? No. I'm in Virginia. Oh. Where's everybody else at? I'm in Philly. Virginia. You said Philly? Yeah. Okay. Grand Rapids. <laughs> Grand Rapids, I'm in, I'm in. Michigan, 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 Grand Rapids. Maryland. Murphy. Uh, how's that Maryland? <laughs> Who's in Maryland? Uh, Asia is in Maryland. With the DMV question. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? You kind of figure you live in, in Maryland with the DMV question. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. I was saying that who else is in Maryland. That's what I was asking. Where's Julian? I'm, to shoot yeah. shot. I'm right here, my guy. No, 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 no. Like, wait, wait. I know you're there. Where? Julian, right here. <laughs> I'm in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm, in, um, I'm in Winfield, Philadelphia. I'm in Pennsylvania. Basically, okay. Philly. Philly. He's in Philly. I don't know why he's making this so complicated. <laughs> he's in Philly. I'm in, I'm right. in Winfield. He's not Philly. <laughs> Next Listen. question. Next question. What is a movie you feel deserves more love? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Um, I, know, I got one. Nah, go for it. The Hateful Go. Eight. The who? The what? what? The Hateful Eight. I bet you nobody in this group chat has seen it. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a Quentin, it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, nice. Say it again. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, the film producer. His name is uh, Quentin Tarantino. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a movie. It's, the movie's called The Hateful Eight. They got Samuel <laughs> Jackson and all that. Oh shit! I probably watched yeah, it. Cool. I just don't know the title. The but uh, as far movie. as like a, a movie that everybody is familiar, with, hopefully, um, I would say. Um, I just seen this movie in theaters not too long ago. Titanic. Um, um, uh, 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 Queen of Slim. Oh. I haven't I watched one. it. I watched I that movie. Was dope. <laughs> that movie was dope. Yeah. Was Even though movie? I feel, uh, I didn't I, like I, the end, but it was a good. Yeah, it yeah. was a good one. It was I think, a good one. I think, I think collectively, all of us as black people do not like the end. <laughs> Everybody sure. die at the end? I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh, what's yours? Julia, what's yours? Uh, 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 DJ Lion, what's yours? The, the best movie? Mm -hmm. No, not the... A movie you feel deserves more love. More love. 
Hotel, 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 I, it's too touchy. I, 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 we Africans, we need to be touchy. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to accept the reality. We need to face it. We need to face. It. Wait, did that's you? That's true. That's true. We need to address it. We need to Nicole, address it. I think it was with you when we watched it in high school. Oh. Were you in my? Yeah, and I hated it. I hated the experience. Go, 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 go watch sometimes in April for a better. Thank you. Uh, that's what I was gonna say as well. Sometimes go, go, in April. Go watch. Yeah. Go, go watch for some, sometimes in April for a better narrative. Of what yeah. Hotel Rwanda. Watch, go watch Shooting Dogs. I tried. Hotel Rwanda I is, a, is a tough tried. movie. No, it's a tough movie. It's no, a hotel, tough. hotel Rwanda was a Hollywood inspired mm -hmm. BS. Field movie, in my opinion. But you know what? Uh, that I mean, true. yeah, okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Go but, watch but, Tears of the Sun. Yeah. Tears of the Sun, yeah, but I watched it yeah, already. Good movie. movie. Yep. yep. Yeah, Tears of the Sun, okay. Yeah. That's mine. Yeah. I think that's everything. Uh, that Asya, what's your movie now? Why are you so quiet over there? He's <laughs> shy. She's always been smiling at the camera every now and then, and then being serious. Why shall I shot? Probably half of a yellow sun. Ooh. Half of what? <laughs> yellow. <laughs> half of a yellow sun. Oh, half, half of, of a yellow. Half of a yellow half sun. Of a yellow sun. Why the hell? Were I don't know you two. Because half of a yellow sun. What's it about? <laughs> Please, uh, now, now I'm intrigued. I beg. What is it about? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Don't tell me it's Nigerian, please. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Moving on. That, 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 name, that name sounds Nigerian already. That name is Nigerian. <laughs> that name is Nigerian. Is Nigerian. The is. Yellow moon, yellow sun. That's Nigerian. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's based from the the book of this lady. Chimamanda uh, Adichie. Adichie? I'm gonna check mm. it out. Mm. Okay, like last question. Yeah, Chimamanda Adichie. Yeah. Me, my movie, yeah? Last question is What happened last time you got goosebumps? Hmm. I don't get goosebumps, so. I checked the COVID update today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you checked the what? The COVID update. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Guess it was your own. I think I got excited when I filed my tax return and I saw that. Hmm. <laughs> when you get you goosebumps. On you after the quarantine. Was... Are we still on the same question? What's the question? Nah, it's what happened. Goosebumps. What happened last, last time you got goosebumps? Oh. Guy on the plane coughed. Oh shit! Pretty oh. loud. Okay, yeah, who's next? Josh. The guy on the plane was coughing heavy. Which ah. As soon as you walked in. Yeah, I was... You are like strong for traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hi. Uh, anyways, Asya. Me? Last time you had goosebumps, yeah. What what, what happened last time you, you, you got goosebumps? So, it was in the jungle at 3 a.m., yeah. In Amazon, Amazon. Congo. No, it was uh, in Tikal, Guatemala. Oh. oh. Okay. I was like, I was like hey, well, <laughs> you work for like, CIA or something. <laughs> wow. Let me find out you be trafficking them kilos, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get it. Did you think of yours? Oh, uh, yeah, I got mine already. Um, This is real. Um, there was a possibility that I might have been bringing someone into this world because I had received a text message saying, um, that 
the person was late. Oh. Yeah. So. But, but the, you know, it came through. Eventually <laughs> 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 arrived. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was that was yeah. That was, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had already started mentally preparing, you know. Yeah, that must be challenging. Because it's, I mean, not, it's, not not it's not typically somebody that I would want to uh, bring uh, another, li bring life into this world with. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of mm -hmm. like it was a situation where I would just have to face my responsibility if it happened, if it went down like that. But it didn't, so. Right. It was goosebumps for sure. It was, it was, it was, it was Damn, that was real. Yeah, that's why I said it was real. That's that why was I said real. <laughs> Keep it real. Hey, Nicole, let's see. Can you beat that one? In Can realness. You, Can you beat that one in realness? That one, that one is easy to make you warmer. But mine was this morning when I. Wonder what? <laughs> I received a text message this morning saying that somebody very important to us passed away. So I was like, I Oh no, you. dang. That's a, yeah. Sorry to hear that. to them. RIP, RIP, RIP. Yeah. Pascal. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, did you lie? <laughs> Why you do all that, bro? You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Goosebump, you mean? I don't think I really get any, you know. But um, yeah, let me try to remember. I've been I've been quarantined so much. Let me try to remember. <laughs> what are you thinking, sure, yeah. oh, God, I, I don't think there's it. anything. But let me let me just say one thing, you know, because I think maybe we might be at the end. And um, I want to say, you know, I feel like. You know, uh, and uh, this might be true in so many cases, you know, most of us Africans, when we come here to the state, most of the time we kind of ignore, you know, where we come from. You know, I, I came as a refugee, you know, here in the United States. So when I look at the people that came with me, and most of the people, when we get here, we forget, you know, where we came from. You know? And I think it's a really big mistake. You know? but, and sometimes we tend to focus on on the countries we came from instead of just looking outside the border of Africa. If you come from Congo, look at Tanzania or Burundi, you know, somewhere. There's so many opportunities back home, back there, you know. So, yeah, I, I, you know, I got goosebumps. It seems like most Africans, they are going back and buying land. You know? So that makes me happy. Mm, nice. Julia. Yeah, well, mine is where it's not good to hear. It was my first time seeing someone getting shot for hugging someone's girlfriend. What? <laughs> Say that again. That's, that, that's very. That's a lot. That's Philadelphia, brother. Damn, dog. That's crazy. Damn. Josh, what do you say? Just try, I was just asking if he said that somebody got shot for hugging someone's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. huh. <clears throat> I said, wow. Man, mine says earlier today it started snowing like crazy and I walked out there and voila, goosebumps. Anyways. <laughs> no, I, I lied. I lied. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Sorry, my bad. So I called Joshua, right? I called. You sure you got no, it? No, no, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm not gonna put him. I'm, I'm not gonna do him like that. My bad. But anyways, yeah, it was snowing earlier, man. I had goosebumps. That's that. But now, nah, appreciate you guys, man. This was a very lengthy and um, productive conversation. I hope we, you know, each have a thing or two, you know, to take away from this. I know you could have been anywhere in the world right now. Psych. <laughs> you are stuck at home. <laughs> it was definitely nice to meet everybody, though, for sure. Out, nah. Nice to meet everyone. 
Uh, it was definitely nice chopping up with y'all, man. Uh, you know, I learned something about Julian. I learned something about Kenneth. I learned something about Pascal, Joshua. No, I didn't learn anything about Joshua, man. It's always the same. Um, Kenzo, I learned something about you. You know, you want your man to pay your rent. That's cool. Um, I learned something about Ella. I learned something about oh Asia and Nicole. Shout out to y'all, man, you know, for, you know, being the realist, for putting your business out there. A lot of people can't do this. Um, this is going to be a weekly thing, by the way, guys. So, um, you know, if you want to be on, you know, yeah, I'm talking up. Every week. Huh? I won't be on here every week. I'm cool with that. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure, for sure. We'll make that happen, though, for sure. Uh, this is Stuck in the Podcast, man. Follow us on all uh, platforms at SITM Podcast. Uh, website is sitlpodcast.com. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. You, know, you get content like this. I know you're watching this live, but I know some of you want to read. You know, go back and watch this because I know you have you have some, you know, to come to come back, you know, at Jillian, you know, in the comment section. I'm all for it. Even Kessel too. I know we're all for it. Even Joshua too. You know, come and hit I know we're all for it, man. And I appreciate you guys. And uh, we out. I had fun, y'all. All right, AK. Yeah, See you guys. One love, one love, one love. Oh, yeah. Julien, make sure you get a better package.